Hello! What's going on guys? So, today, got a bit of another bike maintenance how-to, and today we're going to take a look at free coaster hubs. We're going to more specifically take a look at how to take them apart, clean them, re-grease them, and then put them back together. Now this how-to is specifically going to look at free coasters which use KHE internals. Now what KHE is, is they, they still are a bike brand, but they had one of the first free coasters on the market and the internals, so the parts inside the free coaster, that design is still being used today in pretty much most of the other free coasters. So, Primo, Colt, Federal, Fly, BSD, I think use them. If you've got a one of the Odyssey clutch coasters, most of the Eclat free coasters and definitely the Profile Z coaster, they're not running on KHG internals. So if you've got any of those three free coasters, this how-to is probably not for you, but if you have pretty much any other free coaster on the market, chances are that they're going to be using KHE internals. So some of the tools that we're going to need is a hammer just to pop out the axle, just so we can get inside the coaster. If you've got a male free coaster, you are going to need a 6mm Allen key, because on the end of the free coaster, I'll put a little shot up so you can see it a bit better, but in the end of the axle, there is a 6mm Allen key slot, so you can put an Allen key in and hold the axle still whilst you're unscrewing the lock nut on the driver side. Now, if you have a female free coaster, I'll put a picture up here of what one looks like, you're going to need two adjustable spanners. You're going to need one to hold the lock nut on the driver side, and then you're going to need the other one on the non-drive side to hold the cone washer still whilst you undo that lock nut. It's really important that with the female free coaster, don't over tighten the driver side lock nut, otherwise you can stuff the free coaster and not be able to undo it, so you'll never be able to get inside of it. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we get closer into it. The other thing you're gonna need is obviously some grease to re-grease it, a rag to clean off any of the old grease, and obviously you wanna wear your best white shirt so you can get grease all over it, so afterwards it looks like you've actually achieved something. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is take off the nuts and the washers, any pegs if you've got them, and any hub guards. That's just so we can get inside and get these lock nuts off. So we'll do that first. So the thing with these hub guards is these are made specifically for the Primo Freemix free coaster. So they just lock on to the um, comb washer there. If you've got the G-Sport gland hub guards, the ones where you cable tie them, onto your spokes, you are probably gonna have to cut them off just so that you can get into the cone washer and the drive side lock nut over there. So be mindful of that, that you may need to replace the cable ties once you've done this. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is now that we've got everything off, we need to take this lock nut off the drive side. It's really important that this is the side that we start on. We don't wanna undo anything on the non-drive side. So we're gonna do most of the work from the drive side of the free coaster. Now, with the male axle, as I was talking about before, we can fit a six mil Allen key into the end of the axle. And then what we can do is put our adjustable wrench just around there and then undo it. Now, I don't run my lock nut extremely tight. So what I can actually do is just undo it. So that was finger tight. It's really important that you don't crunch it too hard, otherwise, as with the female axle, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass to get off. So what we're gonna do now is basically undo that lock nut, just like that, get that off, and then what that's gonna do is allow us to pull out the driver and then expose the internals. Rightio, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this driver, we're gonna turn it anti-clockwise and pull back on it a little bit, and that should unthread it from the clutch that sits in there, and then we're gonna pull it out just like that. Let's see if I can get a good angle for you. There you go. No, that'll do. I'll try and do that. There we go. So, I'll put the wheel aside. And have a look at that. So here we have it, guys. This is the free coaster driver. Basically, it's threaded on one end. That thread then feeds into the clutch, which is sitting inside the hub shell. We'll show you that in a minute. And then it's just got a bearing which sits in there, which goes onto the axle. And then just the teeth of the driver. If you ever need to replace a driver of the free coaster, this is the piece uh, that we're replacing. 
it's worth about 40 Australian dollars, which is about 25 US dollars. So they're relatively inexpensive. And again, if you're running KHE internals, you just buy the generic KHE free coaster driver and it should fit into your free coaster hub, whether it be a cult free coaster, colony, federal, primo, whatever, it should fit. So now what we need to do is we're gonna to need to punch out this axle just so we can get into the rest of the internals to give them a clean and re-grease them. Now the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna always start on the drive side. Now what we need to do is once we've taken the driver out, we're going to put a rag or something to protect the end of the axle like that over the top of it and then we're going to get the hammer and we're just going to gently tap on it. What that's going to do is there is a bearing that sits under that cone washer there. That's basically going to pop out and then we just pull the internals out from this side. The first time that you punch out an axle in the free coaster, it will be a little bit harder than this. I have taken mine apart before, so it pulls out a little bit easier. But if this is the first time doing it, don't be worried. Just be gentle with it and just tap it out and it should just slot right out. So we go. So as you can see, I don't know if we can see that. There's the bearing, that side. We'll do some close-ups of this so you can see everything. But basically, what we do now is that's the wheel. There, we can see through the middle of it, can we? Yep. You can see there that that's just the shell. And then, here's the important part. We are left with the free coaster internals. So let's get close up and have a look at this. So basically what we're left with here is the axle of the free coaster. We've then got the clutch, that's the clutch there. If you ever need to replace the clutch, that's what you'd be replacing. If those teeth get worn down, that would be one reason that you'd replace the clutch. If it wasn't engaging properly or sticking, that would be another reason to replace it. But basically the driver slips on there and then threads into the clutch. It's got threads inside and then pulls the clutch out, which then pushes into the hub shell, creating engagement for the hub. So clutch. That is sitting on what's called needle roller bearings. There's two of them on this. So there's one there, then there's another one just there. That basically keeps the clutch in place, locked in um, to stop it from moving around the hub. Then what we're gonna move on to is we have ourselves some slack washers. The Primo Freemix free coaster comes with a predetermined slack that you can't adjust. Um, the Federal V3 coaster and some of the other ones like that you can actually add or take away more washers to determine how much slack you have in your pedals. So that's where you'd be doing that. And then we have the non-driver side bearing and the non-driver side cone nut. So that's basically all there is inside the free coaster with KHE internals. There's not too much to it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this apart, take that clutch off, and then we're just gonna clean everything up get ready to re-grease it and then put it back into the hub shell and put it all back together. Something else that should be worth mentioning is you wanna also clean inside the hub shell. So again, just with a rag, you just wanna get in there and get all that old grease out. So basically the order is you wanna re-grease absolutely everything, cover it in grease, then we're gonna slide the clutch back on and then we're back to the point where we can then punch this section back into the hub shell. So what we're gonna do, Grease all this up, slide the clutch back on, and then I'll show you how to put it back into the free coaster hub shell. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is once we've greased up the internals, we're gonna get some more grease, and we're gonna grease up the inside of the hub shell. There's, you wanna make sure that you've greased up the bearing slot that sits in there. It's got a little flange to stop the bearing coming out. So that's where that bearing is gonna drop into. What we need to do now is we have our internals with the clutch back on. We're gonna then tip it that way. We're gonna slot it in. We're gonna try and seat it so it's pretty straight and even sitting around there. And we're gonna take our rag again and then grab a hammer. Try and sit the wheel relatively straight. Um, cover up the end of the axle again and then we're just gonna tap it back in. Now what you want to do is that's looking pretty good. Um, 
it's it's even all the way around, so the bearing should now just slot straight in with a little bit more hammering. There it is. So that is now seated back in. The axle straight through there. And now what we're ready to do is regress the driver, screw that back in, put the lock nut back on, and then we should be good to go. Okay. So again, grease up the thread. Grease that up, grease up a little bit inside it, just so it slips over the axle. And then just grease up that front bearing that sits there. And then what we're gonna do is push it in like that, and then we're gonna turn it, hold the axle, um, and turn the driver until it screws in, and then stops. And what that's basically done is now attached back to the clutch, it's threaded back into the clutch, and we are good to put on the lock nut. So, there is one I prepared earlier. We're then gonna screw that back on, like that, so it's definitely in place. Lock nut, basically, on like that. And then, screw it all the way back on, and then we're good to put the nuts back on and get it back on the bike. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our six mil Allen key, put it into the end of the axle like that, take our adjustable wrench, put it on the lock nut. Now, you don't wanna over tighten this, otherwise you can really destroy, one, the threading on the free coaster axle, and you can also crush the bearings. So what we're gonna do, a little bit of a tighten, there you go. So that's not too tight, I haven't over tightened it, but it's a little bit more than finger tight. So what we've got now is the lock nut back on and tightened. It the free coaster driver still moves freely. It hasn't been over tightened. So now we're good to put on the axle nuts. We can put back on the hub guard that we had. If you've got the G-Sport gland hub guards, go ahead, re-cable tie it back on. Put your peg back on and then go get it back on your bike and you should be good to go. <laughs> so there you have it guys. That is how to take apart, clean, re-grease and then put back together a free coaster that runs on KHE style internals. Hopefully it's helped you out. There's not too much inside a free coaster, so I mean, there's nothing to be worried about. You know, take your time with it and we should be fine. Hopefully it's helped you guys out. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and we will see you in the next video. See you guys.